الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستكفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهدي الله فلا مضل له وما يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القرآن العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تلهكم أموالكم ولا أولادكم عن ذكر الله ومن يفعل ذلك فأولئك هم الخاسرون صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify him And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings and favors upon us I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah He is alone and he has no partner And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger. Ibadullah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the believers in the Quran and remind us as believers that we are not to make what he has blessed us with a source of uh, uh, deviation from the true path. We must not make what Allah has given unto us, what we pray for so often, we must not make it that source of taking us away from the deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, O oh, people of faith, لا تلهكم أموالكم ولا أولادكم أن ذكر الله Do not make your wealth and your children divert you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala These are two things that we all pray for We, we pray for resources. We, we want the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whether it comes in the form of money or knowledge or other things, it is still what we pray for and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. And every couple, when people get married, they, they want to extend and enlarge their families. And so they pray for children. In Muslims, they pray for pious families, pious children. رَبَّنَا هَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَاتِنَا قُرَّةَ عَيُنَ We follow the example of the believers before us who used to pray and they said, Our Lord, grant us from our spouses and our progeny, those who will be the comfort of our eyes, those who will be the coolness of our eyes, they will bring comfort to us. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I, I have given you what you prayed for. And do not allow my blessings to prevent you or to divert you from the remembrance of me, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala follows it up and says, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ وَمَا يَفْعَلْ ذَٰلِكَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ 
And whoever allows the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take them away from the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are certainly from among the losers. And we often talk about winners and losers. We all want to be winners. We want to be blessed with paradise, Jannah, and Jannatul Firdaus when we leave this world. Look at another verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he talks about these same two bounties and he says how it can be a source of tremendous reward for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adhabin alim tu'minuna billahi wa rasulihi wa tujahiduna fi sabilillahi bi amwalikum wa anfusikum thalikum khayrul lakum in kuntum ta'alamun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says let me, O oh people who believe, let me invite you to a trade, a business. That will save you from a ch severe chastisement. Tunjikum min adhabin alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites us to believe in Him form belief and to believe in his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then the same two bounties Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in general make sure that you use the resources that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with to struggle in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ The bounties of Allah, that Allah has blessed you with, make sure that you use it in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, every day of their lives to be upright. It is not a moment thing or for some period of time. Although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us opportunities at different times for us to increase our worship, and He gives us these moments for us to look back at whatever mistakes that we have made, and to repent for such mistakes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Quran, Inna ladhina qalu rabbuna Allah, thumma istaqamu tatanazzalu alayhim ul-malaikatu alla takhafu wa la tahzanu. Wa abshiru bil jannati allati kuntum tu'adun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, talks about uprightness and steadfastness and he says verily those who say Allah is our Lord they are declaring their belief their Iman and after declaration of Iman faith they are steadfast. They demonstrate the faith. 
and they continue like this throughout their lives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says at the time of death, when the angels come to take life, Though such people who declare their faith and they were steadfast, they were committed, they will be told, grieve not, fear not, but have glad tidings of the Jannah, the paradise that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised you. And it all goes back to faith, iman, and steadfastness. We, we have entered a period, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he made dua. And he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa sha'ban wa balighna ramadan. O oh Allah, bless us in the month of rajab and in the month of sha'ban and give us the opportunity to witness the month of ramadan. We, we are in that month of Rajab and it is said that a very historical event took place in this month. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given a miraculous journey or that occurred during this month from Masjid al-Haram in Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem and then from Masjid al-Aqsa into the heavens. It was a time, that period was a very sad period, the period preceding this journey. And sometimes when people are sad and they are being met with challenges and difficulties, they give up, they lose faith. And this is the karma, the commitment, the dedication is not there anymore. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded or, or in, in, in some way showed us that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did not lose hope and he did not give up. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him up and gave him something that would bring more solace, more comfort, more peace of mind, more tranquility. He gave him salah. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, as we reflect upon this, these times, I want to remind you and remind myself that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with tremendous resources. Every step of the way, let us make sure that these resources are used to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not in any way take us away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
there, there are so many who became lost as wealth was poured upon them, as opportunities were poured upon them to get the, you know, uh, richer and richer. There are so many became lost in, in terms of their own children as the, their families grew. They focus more on family and forgetting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have to get a house for each one of my children. I have to get a car for each one of them. And so, so giving up prayers and giving up fasting and giving up helping others Yes, we take care of our families. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with families. But that istiqama must be demonstrated with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not la tulhikum amwalukum wa la awladukum in dhikrillah. Do not make the wealth and the children that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with divert us from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A Muslim looks to excel. A Muslim looks to, to, to do more. Inna Allah katab al-ihsan ala kulli shay. Verily, Allah has written perfection for everything. And so you want to do more with regards to your prayers. And you want to do more with regards to your fasting. Not only the, the, the obligatory fasting, but you want to fast optional fasting. You want to do more with what Allah has blessed you, so you don't only give zakah because it is incumbent upon you, but you look at the optional charity and every opportunity that you have, you look to help others. This is how a Muslim looks at life. When it comes to what Allah has blessed us with, it is tremendous. We can count the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا and if you were to try to count the bounties and favors of Allah upon yourselves, you will never be able to count them. And so, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, as we reflect upon these times, especially the, the month of Rajab, the month of Sha'ban, and the month of Ramadan, and we plan for what we would like to do as we approach the month of Ramadan. L let us remember that it doesn't matter what happens. Don't lose hope. Hold on to your faith. Demonstrate commitment and dedication. And always look for a better day, a better tomorrow. Look for excellence. How did I, how did I do with my salah today? How did I do with my interaction with people today? Was I angry, upset? We, we reflect and we try to make sure that we are the true Muslims that we ought to be. Those who submit their lives to the commands of Allah 
and the traditions of his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah invites us to a beautiful trade, a business transaction, one that never fails. In business, there are times when we will prosper and there are times when we might fail. The business that Allah invites us to is that business that never fails. You believe in Allah and you believe in His Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and you strive with your wealth and your cells in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah has promised us Jannah Allah has promised us forgiveness Allah has promised us that He will save us from the fire of hell May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be true believers may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to be those who from among those who submit completely to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al mu'min al mu'minat min kulli dhanb fastaghfiruh innahu huwa al ghafur al rahim الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رضوان الله عليهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد my dear brothers and my dear sisters as we look at the resources that Allah سبحانه وتعالى has blessed us with let us continue to demonstrate what it means to be Muslim. And so, as we have entered this period where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has prayed, O oh Allah bless us in this period, Rajab and Sha'ban, and give us the opportunity to witness Ramadan. Let us look at strengthening our faith. And so, be more closely attached to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have wronged yourselves in any way, turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness, repent. Like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said he used to ask for forgiveness 100 times daily. Let us protect our prayers, our salat. If we have the ability and we are able to help others, Make a difference in society. Help others. And look at not only yourself, but look at protecting yourself, myself, and our families. That's a responsibility that Allah has given unto us. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tul... Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum naro. O you who believe, we are all believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Save yourselves and your families from the fire of hell. So when I say get closely attached to the Qur'an, it is not only for us to be attached, that our families be attached to the Book of Allah. When I say that if you have erred, let's sit with our families. If they have erred, let us together 
repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Protecting our salah, it is not only for us. We need to give advice. Let us pray with our families. Make sure that they are doing everything possible to help them to be saved from the fire of hell. And there are so many who get caught up by doing things alone. And sometimes the families can't relate to it. If you are helping people, it's a good thing. Encourage your families to, to be with you while you are helping others. Let your children see it. So it will mean something to them. And so my dear brothers and my dear sisters, let us all work together to maintain our faith, to protect our faith, and to keep our faith, uh, you know, to keep, to be committed and dedicated with regards to our faith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and have mercy upon us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to bless us with, his, with all the resources that we would like in life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us and to grant us more so that we can do more in His way. لَقَدْ أَمَرَنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالْ إِنَّ اللَّهُ مَلَائِكَتُهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى الله من خلفائه الأربعة أبي بكر وأمر وأثمان وعالين ونستة الباقين البشرين بالجنة ونسائر الصحابة ونتابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على دين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هم إلا فرجته ولا هاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قديتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والباغي بكم لعلكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمهم واذكروه على آلائهم ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقم السلام